Uh, oh, hello, man. everyone, and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. Uh, I'm here with D Free. So, and I'm here with Zenrot. We have a, I actually have a guest. They're actually currently playing Legends in the background. D Free, how has it been and, uh, fighting against Zen? Oh, pretty good. Mm. I just know that I was gonna say you've like hoard out like four videos out of me today. You, I did. <laughs> Well, that's because you. I got a very. We're gonna have a question about this later. So the good thing is, is that when I said we're gonna do TV release, I didn't tell anybody that you're gonna be on here. And yet, someone still oh, sent okay. a question about like, "Hey, how come Defree's not on more videos?" <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm back. Happy to be back. Yep, we're glad to have you back. Uh, we'll go into more reasons as to why we don't just constantly use you all the time. <laughs> but for now let's talk about the two dudes on the big boy scale so dokkan released a new what is it what is his name uh future trunks teen even though he's a full-ass man <laughs> yeah dokkan and, still has and zumasu who can transform for the people that don't know what 30 31 he's not young he's not an... dragon ball super trunks so yeah he's no, not he's a not. teen yeah he's not a teenager i broke it out again on you zen what's wrong <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's from Goresh. That guy, ta uh, he taught me that because he just would kick my butt so much with that. So it's tell, so annoying. Tell the people the technique you're using against Zen because they can't see what you're <laughs> talking about. Oh, uh, well, well, we're playing Legends, as you yeah. said. Uh, there is a tech that allows you. Ooh, hit it out the park. <laughs> There's a tech <laughs> that allows you to uh uh, just basically take your time, and if you take your time, when they try to cover change, like uh, he tried to go into SSG Vegeta, who tr who knocks you back, he couldn't knock me back because I just charged and or pause. You just pause for a second, and they they can't do their thing because they just drop in. So you've probably heard me explain it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I did. I knew, I knew the technique you were talking about, but you know, it helps yeah. for the people out there. Like so maybe some people out there don't play Legends. They're like, this what the is, hell is he talking? This is a Dokkan about? channel. Why would they play Legends? Exactly. I really don't like the fact that you keep calling my channel a Doka channel. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so let's get into these big boys. First dude up, it's Trunks. Uh, his leader skill is Future Saga Category, 3 key, and then all stats 170%. And But no, actually, defense is only 130%. And then at their super class, it's 3 key, and then all stats 120%. Um, mm. his passive skill in his first form is attack and defense 100% and then I think in three turns he can transform into Super Saiyan Trunks Future or whatever the Super Saiyan version and then it's 120% attack and then he gets key plus one up to four with an additional attack and defense 10% up to 80% at the start of each turn and then in his final form which you unlock the next turn it's he gets attack 30% and defense 10% per key spear obtained. Attacks effective against all types. Randomly change key Hit it spears. Out the park! Randomly Sorry. change key spears to a certain type of uh, tech key Hit spears. Out the park! <laughs> <laughs> and he hits it out of the park, apparently. <laughs> Throw it blast. Yamcha can turn it all back, Zen. Stop. <laughs> And this category is our Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, and Transformation <laughs> Boost. She hit it out the park. No runs, baby. How many are, by the way, how home many run, are, baby. Did you actually get a home run against Zed? I've got like six. Okay. <laughs> now he's just doing it on purpose. <laughs> you don't mess with Yamcha. All right. Sorry, Woki. Continue. I'll no, stop messing. Good. So this is basically this is the trunks. The thing I was gonna ask you because you actually have this unit and you actually pull in Dokkan so you can play with new units. How do you know I have the unit? Hold on. How do you know I have him? I watch your videos. But I didn't pull him in my video. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> well, spoilers for your summon video that you're gonna do up soon. <laughs> I legit. So I woke you. What the heck? How did? What are you in my stuff? Yeah, well, for, no, well, first of all, don't, don't first. Well, well, let's go back. Don't try and act like you don't release videos where all of a sudden, like, here's my Rainbow Star Trunks. Like, you do that. That's what I mean, is that you use him. <laughs> yeah, Wokey has my phone bug or something. That's how I know exactly when you're ready to record. I'm like, hmm, I guess today, today's not good. He has to go to the movies. I ask, I ask you, yeah. but I already know the answer. No, uh, so the funny thing is I uh, I put up my summon form and I didn't get him, uh, but 
I did about another 150 or something like that later on camera, by the way, it's going to be a little short, little like six minutes, some video by the time they're hearing this, they mm. but um, yeah, in that I actually got two and in, in three summons. It was pretty, wow. pretty lit. Yeah. So I have them, but I haven't trained them yet. Okay. Fair enough. But what I was going to say is that you did a showcase for him. So what I was going to ask is that in his final skill, does he just completely lose the 120% attack and defense? What do you mean? 120%? From so, the passive? Yes, from the passive of the second form trunks to the final form trunks. Uh, the way that those units should work is they hold on to the attack gain that they would have got otherwise. Like, if you notice, the second part of his passive says he gets an attack increase mm -hmm. up to, I believe, 80%. Also, his super attack raises attack and defense. That yeah. stuff should sustain through his forms, but he doesn't get any start of the turn boost, no. He okay. only gets the uh, the other ones. And anybody, feel free to correct me if you know better and, I, and I'm and i mistaken. That's fine. That's at least the way I've always treated that. Okay, we and don't have... We, we, by the way, you got to prove it. We also shouldn't start asking for corrections on this show because otherwise we're going to get a lot of them. <laughs> well, we'll operate under that premise. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, and then he has an active skill, which is what lets him go into his final form. And the active skill is like a bunch of children looking at him and then he looks at a sword and then he gets a big-ass sword. Wow, children? You, you literally didn't include my? Uh, my and Bulma are also in it. That's correct, but... The so first is it thing, the little kids that die, is it the dead kids? Haru and Maki. I only know their name from Dragon Ball. Wait, they die? <laughs> is that true? That whole universe dies. Yeah, man, They're all they gone. fucking die. Everybody there dies. That's, that's sad. Why would they include the dead, the dead children in there? Why no, it's not even. It's not even just the children. Literally, that whole universe. They have to erase it from because of Masu. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then they end up living in that that timeline where there's two Mai's and one Trunks, right? Yeah, so they basically go to a different timeline. Well, no, there's two Mai's and two Trunks. Well, for only yeah. for now. You know, eventually that one Trunks is going <laughs> to kill the other Trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Have access to all the Mai's of the entire universe. Uh, but yeah, this is... So here's uh, the f uh, here's the thing about this kind of unit. I don't really use Future Saga, so I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> I, I, we, he's one of the best characters in the game. All right, to Not tell tell the good. Uh, here's the thing is that I feel everyone says that. Yeah, to be fair, it's it's about a meme at this point. Yeah, uh, every character now is like the best character. So I don't uh, blame. Him. So this is where I'm trying. This is why I'm having trouble like trying to figure out exactly where does he fit in because he is very strong, but I can't really say anything else about him other than he's very strong. Yeah. Um, so what what he does is a little bit different because what makes him good is the fact that, you know, he has insanely good transformation mechanics for a character that has two different transformations. A little bit of what I explained earlier is also a factor. Also, the fact that um, he has that active skill, he turns into a nuker with 30 percent orb. That's that and he generates his own orbs. That's. That's too good. And then the leader skill. He has a uh, secondary leader skill that's super class. That's phenomenal. So, like, everything he does is just really good in general. And then you look at the Zamasu, it's the same thing, except he actually has more visible buffs because he goes, like, 280, I think. So just these characters are just very, very good. Yeah, they are. We're gonna, we'll get into Zamasu after Trunks. Uh, the, the Trunks is very good, but uh, I don't know. How you feel? Zen, you are a, a Trunks fan. You named your dog after Trunks. How do you feel about this Trunks? Uh, hang on, I have to actually pull this picture up before I can have an opinion on him because that is what I care about. All right, I will say that he has probably one of the yeah. cooler uh, transformations because they actually his, um, his art's really good. Yeah, the transformation art is pretty good. The uh, active seal is also pretty nice. The thing is, is that's weird. Is that all the audio ex for everyone except for B Pan sounds bad? <laughs> yeah, B Pan is the only character audio on her active skill. I don't I thought, understand. Uh, Kid why. Goku's was okay. Yeah, Kid Goku's was was decent. I don't understand why most of these characters just it's trash though. Yeah, Super Saiyan. The, both the Super Saiyan four sounds like they were recorded recorded from a phone near a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty messed up. That's pretty. It's a pretty low bar. <laughs> it's, it's again, if in terms of like active skill voices, I would say those two have the worst because the, the I think Where they're the chunks. Huh? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, um, you're talking about my trunks. No, your trunk. We no, know. Oh your yeah, you are using trunks. 
Can you not? I, yeah, I can get behind it. Um, Did you see his transformation art? No, I don't. How do I how do I look that up on DBZ Space? How do I make it show me? There should be a little button on the bottom right corner of the card. I had Renzi add that because <laughs> it was like impossible to see transformation. It was the number oh, one oh, force behind. Button. Mm. Oh, one thing I remember hating about this card though is that his transformation animation he just busts out the art of the really old trunks. He the does. really old tech truck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the tech one. Yeah. That's something that they did for uh, LR Kale and Khalifa, where there was points where you could just tell that they used the old <laughs> the old art again. In their super attack, yeah, that's one thing that they've been doing. It's they've been trying to be like, I guess, more creative with that, where they literally re old, reuse old art assets for like their super attacks and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but in the Kale and Khalifa one, it was pretty bad because you can see spots where they re the, the overall animation was nice, but it was very noticeable. Like if you play the game and you've seen those, you could see spots where they were using the old K or Khalifa, the AGL one. You could see spots where they used her in the animation, and then you can also see spots where there's the STR and I believe uh, Int Kale's literal card art in the animations. Yep. And they try to do this thing where their hands are coming back together, where they're supposed to be interlocked, but they aren't because it's just the card arts. It's almost like it's almost reminiscent of uh, that part specifically is actually kind of reminiscent of the Gohan thing with the walking because it's just literal stagnant art that they're trying to do something different with. But the overall Don't animation put that Gohan walk on them. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, Go Gohan walk is a very specific tier of just bad. <laughs> the worst of Gohan. That is a serious accusation to make. <laughs> maybe that's not maybe that's. A little too harsh. They could but it's sue close. you. They could sue you for libel for comparing libel. them to to, to, for, to comparing them to LR Gohan's animation. Of course. <laughs> but yeah, there there is some reuse stuff. There. I still feel like the the. I feel like a lot of that is also because like there's not a lot of like poses for that trunks. The the trunks yeah. was in like one arc and they've used most of his poses already. So is how his hair is pulled down and part of the transformation process and he's uh got the gold hair already but his hair is down yeah that's about him yeah so let's see let's put him up on the big boy scale just to remind you free it is after it is uh out of five if you feel he goes beyond big boy you can rate him higher but what do you okay. feel uh what were the criteria for the scale again? The cri it's a, it's basically how you feel on the inside, which is what allowed Krillin to be a five out of five big boy. Krillin was, that's a whole different story. Krillin is like a legend in these yeah. parts, man. Every unit is weighed differently based on the person. So I'm going to say this is for you. How do you feel on the inside about this, uh, about this boy and how big he Trunks is? Trunks is probably one of my favorite characters in the game. Hmm. But also I don't, I don't want to give him too big of a too big praise because you know he's new. I guess kind of like recency bias type deal. Um, but I'll give him wow Zen really. I'll give him a uh, solid four out of five. Okay. What are you feeling, Zen? Uh, wow. I will do okay. and a crit. Okay. A four point five out of five. And I'm feeling around a four out of five at the same time. So we combine that together. That's around a 4.3, 4 4.4, because it was two fours in there. So let's give him a 4.4 4 out of 5. Okay. It's fair. It's fair. It's probably the most balanced we've done to a new character, considering a lot of the previous units put on this list. Yeah, yeah. that's also fair. Yeah. That's what happens when D-Free shows up. We, we, everything gets professional, because we have a Dokkan tuber here. Here to tell us how to do Dokkan right. You here? You're already here. You are, you are my favorite Dokkan channel. You know that's not true. Even if even if that <laughs> even if I was a Dokkan channel, there's no way in hell that I'm your favorite. When most you of my are my favorite Dokkan tuber, most of my Dokkan videos are me going, "Hey, check out this Dokkan video." Fuck, is this video over yet? <laughs> is it close to being done? <laughs> I guess not. Oh man, I've been really bad at these charge impact. <laughs> Playing enough Jesus heroes. Christ. It's play too much heroes, yeah. Playing too much heroes. <laughs> Alright, then we have the other unit for the big boy scale. It's Zamasu. His leader skill is for is similar to Trunks except for its Realm of Gods and its Extreme class. 
His passive skill is attack 100%, reduce damage received by 40%, recover 70% HP whenever HP is 70% or lower. And then he does fusion when um, it's the third turn. And then he turns into Fuse Zamasu, which is a passive skill is key plus 2 and attack 120%, reduce damage received by 40%. Then we'll recover 10% of HP when below uh, when eight, when HP is below 80%. And then uh, finally you have his final form, which is just fu Fuse Zamasu, but deformed. Which I guess they put a parenthesis to say there's a difference between them, which they hadn't before. But whatever. Uh, his Then his passive skill becomes Key plus 4 a hack, attack 200, 280%. Reduces damage by 20%. Disables enemies super guard and then all disables enemies guard and then all super class allies take 10% less attack. No super class allies attack minus 10%. And then his categories. Wow, then you got so lucky there. And Sorry, then, I'm listening. That was all good. And then his categories are Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Transformation Boost, and Chime Travelers. So, uh, this Zumasu is basically the exact same Zumasu card, but with more stuff in into it. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, 280. That's literally almost three times the Ultimasu. Yeah, it's a big-ass attack for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's... Wow, okay. He's really good. Yeah. The problem with the old Zamasu is that eventually his attack uh, percentage wasn't so good, and it wasn't worth keeping him on there when all super allies got minus 10% attack. So it kind of became like, uh, this unit doesn't hit that hard. Also, why am I putting... I can't put him on any of these, like... The team, the the game is now built more around uh, category systems, and usually it's a mixture of super and extreme types. So it didn't really make sense to put him on any of those because he just made everyone worse. And this unit, at least, is similar to that one, except for you can actually control when he turns into this form. So you can actually just like turn into him, and then it won't matter if there's super allies because you're using him to kill anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, I do want to point out that at the time Tech came out. It was a bigger deal, you know, because our leader skills were bad. Like the best leader was seventy percent go tanks. Mm -hmm. Now it's not a big deal. It's it's just not. Yeah. Not and, really. and either way, the unit wants to be on Goku Black build anyway with the new Gowasu and other Zamasu Goku Black cards. But so is, it's is that Gowasu an extreme type or is no? He's a he's uh, a super class. Yeah. He's super class, but he's support. So who cares, right? Yeah, he's super class support, and he also um gets uh, a, a nice attack increase 100% in certain scenarios. Mm. So he's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I do notice that, I think, does he still keep the healing? Uh, he seals. Okay. Okay. So he's, he's solid. Yeah, he wants to be on a team like that anyway. The Gawasu is a 70% defense support. The reason behind that is because, and also Rosé is a 50% defense support. The reason why that's good, though, is because um, the uh, Merge Zamasu, he doesn't have a lot of defense. So what he does is he has high mitigation, which actually needs, but he needs help because he doesn't have the defensive numbers. So that's what makes some of those supporters really good, like the Gowasu and the Rose, of course. Not just, and also can good links anyway. So yeah, stuff like that. And then his fusion is pretty good. He does do the 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 the, the dick to dick twirl that is all for all of the fusions. <laughs> the only thing that's missing is that he doesn't do the hug between him and Black. I think if they did the hug, it would have been his card would have been a hundred percent amazing. But they don't do the hug. Yeah, but it's not that yeah. big a deal. It's still funny to confuse. In my video, that I really wish that he would have did the hug. The hug is great. The hug is great, and I feel like it would have been really funny every time you transform to see the hug first. <laughs> the important thing for me on this card is that he T poses like a motherfucker in his transformed art. He does. <laughs> it is it's full on T posing. And he has like a, such a shitty grin, too, while he's T posing, by yep. the way. He's so fucking proud of himself for T posing. <laughs> I've never seen Zamasu. I think, you know what? This Zamasu is the happiest I've ever seen Zamasu. <laughs> because his previous form, the uh, the one on the banner, is just him with his uh, mouth open, cackling like a monster. Yikes. What I'm saying is, is that I like a happy Zamasu. I think it's very funny that he's super happy. 
Uh, but let's see. How do you feel about him on the scale, though? This, There's no denying that this is an extremely punchy boy. But does that rate to a perfect 5 out of 5 big boy in your, in your view? Let's start with D-Free. I'm going 3. Going 3? What about you, Zen? I'm a 4. Hmm. I'll be right in the middle and say 3.5. <laughs> Cheater. I know. So that means that actually completely fucks up the scale. I don't know what our math would equal up to. You're a cheater. Nothing will ever compete with Krillin as perfect fives. No. I will say that currently LR Rayleigh and Kid Goku has a 20 out of 5 on the big boy scale. Yeah, up to a 3.5, exactly. All right, let's do 3.5. I think that's fair. Uh, 3.5, and that's it for today's big boy skills. There's only two of them, because there is, those are the two most important ones on there. If you're going for them, congrats. The one thing is that I don't know is that whether or not... Th- so here's the fucked up thing, is that there's Golden Week happening, and it's been a long time since we've done a step-up banner for an LR. So now I'm afraid they're going to drop one right now. Yikes. So I've been very cautious about wanting to spend anything, because Dokkan is the kind of game that releases one of these banners and then says oh by the way here's an lr step up banner because that's the same shit they did with the last time <laughs> they're like yeah. here's two extremely good units by the way here's an lr step up banner it doesn't have any new units on it but it does guarantee <laughs> you <fucking> lrs <laughs> did you just beat zen again <laughs> i got him with a faint like 20 percent chance to faint go 10 he'd go 10 out. his faint chance is so low i didn't even know he could Oh my god. I'm Isn't Faint Faint such a great mechanic <laughs> in Legends? A oh, fucking man. quality game. <laughs> it's true, I love it. Alright, let's go on to some questions. Alright. Let me quietly remember if you want to send the questions, always ask one in you can ask one on YouTube, or you can just wait for me to ask for questions on uh Twitter. Whichever one suits you better. Uh let's see. Uh, the first I had a question... whole hand of strike. Great. Uh, first question. Yes, first question. It comes in from uh, Bunny Yeo, Big Bunny, and he asked, "What's the best pet you have ever owned?" And I feel like that's a loaded question <laughs> because I love all my pets. Um. Uh, mm. So I don't know if I can like rank them in my mind because it feels kind of shitty to do that but i'll just give them all perfect scores i love them all even lucifer who specifically is an asshole cat who attacks my feet every single time i walk by him so yeah that's how i feel what about you uh zen uh it's a tie between trunks and mavis Mm. (laughs) fair i don't have any pets so you never had a pet no oh well I did when I was younger. Game. Great video game that we're playing right now. <laughs> it's a damn shame I don't have any of the video of you losing the d <laughs> uh, I beat him the last two in a row, but I just got fainted fucking twice. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. I won first seven, though. All right. Thank you for the question. Those are our questions that Zen is a tie. I'm <laughs> saying all of them. And d has never had a pet except for when he was little and he doesn't remember. Was not. Yeah, uh, was not enough. Uh, next question comes in from Nighthawk, who asks, it's two questions. Here's the first one. When will we ever get Zahal on the podcast? We need to all ask him a few questions. Uh, Zahal, <laughs> Zahal is allowed on the podcast. It's just that I don't know when he's awake. <laughs> so I don't know if he can actually Go record to. when we can. Uh, yeah. I don't I would, know what Zahal does. Yeah, we don't know what Zahal does. If Zahal wants to be on, then I can talk to him and be like, yo, Zahal, show up. And then Zen can yell at you for a bit, <laughs> and then everything will be good. As is tradition. Yeah. I'll ask Zahal next time, whenever I have time. It's very hard, again, it's very hard to get guests on here, except for D-Free, because the time differences, there's the fact that I live in California, and because I don't have a very, I have to, I don't, I have to, oh, I, I only have one specific time I can fall asleep, unless I want to fall asleep on, like, a hard-ass couch. <laughs> That's the only time I can uh, be awake. But I'll ask. But then his other question. What advantage do you have? (laughs) Uh, But this is like impossible to win at this point. So. (laughs) But yeah, Goten is not beating Broly. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure Goten could be Broly. (laughs) Goten is Broly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that was the rumor, right? Goten is the new Broly. (laughs) Everyone thought. Fan theory. 
He had to yeah, go down as Broly. Yeah. And then his next question is also, also sorry for asking this too, but when will we ever see Poppy D Free back as well? Love the trio of you, Zen, Rot, and D Free. Woo! I'm back! Back, bitches! Congratulations, viewer. Congratulations, <laughs> D Free is back. Uh, I like having D Free on for these videos. The only problem is, is that uh, sometimes Dokkan likes to do the thing of like release stuff while we're recording, and I can't, in good conscience, be like, "Hey, D Free, do you want to not make money to work with us?" <laughs> yeah, I got a dip as soon as as soon as news comes out, and it, it's also a double thing too because Legends does it too. Yeah, so, gotta go. So. Until the day comes, you know, you guys, though. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I'm glad. Again, we're glad for him to be here. It's always fun to have him here. But I will never be like, oh man, D Free should be on all the time because that that's just not <laughs> that's not feasible unless I'm paying D Free. <laughs> no, no, I can be on all the time. We're good. Uh, do you not do not do not make promises you can't keep D Free? <laughs> okay, well, I could be on some of them. Okay, some of the time. Because I was about to say, I can't even get Zen on all the time. <laughs> I for the yeah. Yeah. getting paid. I don't even get paid. I've been doing this for fucking years. <laughs> exactly. So if I when the day comes that I can pay Zenra and I can pay D Free to be on to be released, then you can expect the power trio to keep uh being on every episode. But until that day comes, just enjoy D Free when he's here. It's whenever I'd be like, Hey D Free, do you wanna come in and do some videos? And he goes like, <laughs> "Let me check. I'm not watching a movie, and also no no news coming out, so we're all good." That's basically how the interaction goes, too. Yeah, I'm a man of few words. It's can you come? And then the, he goes yes or no, and I say oh, understandable. That's nobody. Nobody clipped that. <laughs> what asking me if D Free can come? Oh, he was saying I'm a man of few words. I just say can you come, and he says yeah. Nobody clipped that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. Thank you for the questions, Nighthawk. Next question comes in from Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan, who says, Do you know how to heal wounds? Because I wasted 650 free to play stones on Int Goku Black and didn't get them. Uh, so, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan has been for weeks now, I want to say months since we've come back for doing the podcast, has been hyped for Goku Black coming to global. And Goku Black came to Global, and he did not get Goku Black. Oh, no, it's that guy. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Not the Goku Black guy. No. Not, <laughs> not like this. No. Like, seriously, dude, every single time we asked for questions, he was there with a new Goku Black <laughs> picture. Like, of different fan art of Goku Black being like, so when, are you, when is Goku Black? Can you please tell me when he's coming? Uh, oh, how wow. do you rate Goku Black? Like, it was a bunch of Goku Black questions, and unfortunately, he was not able to get Goku Black. Wow, and he didn't get them? Oh, that sucks. No, 650 free-to-play stones. Uh, this is why uh, I say Dokkan is a bad game sometimes. Here's this is actually why here's, I don't play it. No. Here's the fucked up thing, is that you pulled on that banner just as they announced the better Goku Black banner in the, view, in the Zamasu banner that just got released in JP. Okay, Zen. And Fuck also you. Global doesn't have the medals. that shit? JP doesn't have any medals, so he can't even, like, work towards eventually buying the Goku Black. Oh, wow. So, here's the thing, dude. Uh, there's no way to recover from being fucked from Dokkan. You either just gotta stop playing Dokkan for a bit, or just, like, it, it just move on. Because you can't, you can't let it try and beat you, man. Don't go, don't go, what I'm saying is don't go spending stones trying to chase Goku Black. He's gonna come back on a better banner. Yeah, he he definitely he's gonna come back on the Merge Zamasu banner. In fact, yes. Start saving now because I think. Let me tell you this one right now: you're gonna pull him in the next time. You're gonna get him next time. <laughs> Just keep believing in Goku Black, and he will show up one day. But that that really does suck. I'm sorry to hear that you were not able to get him. If anyone deserved Int Goku Black, he deserved it. Uh, yeah, Int Goku Black. <laughs> I feel like Dokkan should fucking just come up and give it to you. Yeah. Here's your Goku Black you earned. Yeah, here you go. You deserve it. yours, I believe, sir. It sucks that they never did retroactive medals. Of like, but they couldn't do it because then whales like D3 would have like 1 million medals in the shop on day like one. D3 would never pull again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because there would be literally no point, but, you know. That's what it is. What it is. Thank you for the question and feel better, dude. That really sucks. 
Next question comes in from Doodle, and he asks, what are your thoughts on all the Dragalia changes that have happened recently? Uh, so both of you both have started playing Dragalia again, right? Or at least you pulled. Both of you pulled Marth. I saw that much. I got Marth and I got Fjorm. What about you, What is you, with dude? you, Loki? Hmm? What is with you? I didn't. I haven't pulled anything. Really? You haven't pulled anything? <laughs> this man, Woki, is out here seeing into the future. <laughs> I thought... Wait, did you even not do... Uh, listen, you're a whale. Also saying, <laughs> also, also saying, I, I'm, right. I'm, about to, I'm about to have to play serious now, because this isn't... <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. You play serious a bit, and I'll actually talk about the changes to Dragalia. No, 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 no. I'm just talking to Zen, because he's beat me four times in a row. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because you're being distracted by my future site? No, no, no. He's playing good, okay. but... I'm gonna have to take it up a notch. Anyways, I haven't pulled yet. How you did the same thing earlier? How do you keep doing this? Do you have my stuff like Woki, man? I, I'm seriously concerned about my safety. I watch a lot of your videos. <laughs> <laughs> you keep up the content. I haven't even done he, a Dragalia he has a formula video. that he calculates out for what you're gonna pull in future videos. Yeah. So here's the thing. What I'm gonna guess right now, you're gonna go. You're gonna do the guaranteed summon. You're gonna get Marth, and then you're gonna get your first pity break, and it's gonna be Marth again. Yikes. And then you're just going to keep getting Marth. Because that's what yeah, happened. That'd be I didn't do great. the guaranteed summon, but when I did the summon, I got two Marfs. Uh, no, I got three Marfs. And th no, I got two Marfs and three Xanders. And I was extremely pissed off that I got that many Xanders. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed. Uh, but the good thing is, I was eventually able to pull Veronica, but I did like 10 plus multis to get them. But uh, here's my thought on the Dragalia changes they're all very good. <laughs> the only thing yeah, that will be. Quality shit. Yes, yeah, good quality shit. Uh, the one thing that I'm going to be looking forward in the, to the future is like, uh, one of my complaints was actually like, oh, we actually need a lot more uh, Elder Water. But then I learned that you can actually pull all the five worm prints from just stages. They included them on random stages. So it's like, I guess you can just, uh, no complaints currently. I'll look for them eventually because eventually I'll, uh, I'll um, gotchas leave a grace period where you don't talk shit about them. But for right now, I'm saying they're all quality. They come back and they start to suck again. Yeah, yeah. that's on the way. <laughs> and that's coming eventually. But I think all the changes for Dragalia has made recently have been good. I wish it's why I was super super underwhelmed when Dokkan released their fucking like. Here you go. You can do it three times a day. Here's your double. <laughs> here's your double thing. I was like, this fucking sucks. And I think oh, even people. Uh, and even I think some people have said that. Not that it sucks, because it doesn't... Here's the fucked up thing about that. Uh, the thing they added to Dokkan is that it doesn't suck. It's better than nothing. That still doesn't make it all the way good. <laughs> I don't understand why it's locked behind three times. If, it's, if it already uses your stamina and there's no way to get more stamina except for using stones, I don't see the point of like limiting yeah, it. That's really dumb. The limit is dumb. The feature is good, but the limit is dumb. Just remove the, the limit. It doesn't make sense. Your limit is already your stamina. <laughs> Come on. Don't be stupid. But yeah, good changes. More gotchas should change for the better. More got, uh, you know, I think I said in, because uh, I was trying to explain it to someone who played Dokkan. It was like if Dokkan suddenly said all multis are now 40 stone multis. Like that's a good change regardless. <laughs> Anything that's like, oh, it doesn't cost 50 anymore. It's 40. It changes the entire economy about how much you get. Uh, so suddenly all the stones you get in story is worth a lot more. The only thing that gets maybe worth less is the 30 stone summons. But those could probably change. Why did I do that? Fuck. Those could probably change to 20 or something. But yeah, good changes on Dragalia all around. And if you're interested in Dragalia, start now. It's the perfect time. Or Fire Emblem you... characters too, instead of whatever dorky fucking OCs they're trying to make you play as. First of all, all these o OCs are extremely good. Don't you talk shit about the bear. One of the greatest characters in Dragalia, the bear. Uh, I like Cleo. Does that count? Cleo's all Cleo right. Best girl. Cleo's all right. I have no Cleo problem. Cleo never showed up for her fucking Christmas summon, so I, I don't care about Cleo right now. Same thing goes for Ellie. She never showed up in Halloween, so I don't care about her either. Oh yeah, I have Halloween Ellie. I like Ellie too. Fuck. I don't like the Bunny Man, and I don't like uh, just generic Axe Man. Uh, Raz, Raz is great. Really, Go Tanks? Are you serious? 
he got his new form and uh, in the story you meet his dad which really shows a lot of why raz is the way he is anyway that's more uh, that's going more down the dragalia path thank you for the question let's move on to the no another question here this is from john the wanderer he asks if you could play six iterations of one character on the same team in dokkan that would link perfectly with each other who would it be and why is it a really and it would be a really for me it's perfect because that's all she needs <laughs> so i don't see a point of running any other character what about you uh d3 who i assume will be krillin yeah krillin not that there are six viable krillins how about you actually get six viable krillins first and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah if there was act krillins yes then i choose krillin uh other than that uh gohan which you can you can technically you gohan there's enough versions yeah definitely what about yeah. you zen uh uh goku <laughs> all <laughs> is it all one form of goku or just different forms of goku it has to be a form oh fuck me um no, I'm just saying, is it for you personally, would it just be six Gokus? Oh, oh or? no, just Goku. Just okay. fucking Goku. <laughs> I believe that's the name of the team, just fucking Goku? Fucking Goku, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, thank you for the in question. In fact, I hear that was the prototype name for uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. It's true. Featuring some Gokus you want, and then one horrible bastardization of an amalgamation of a Goku. Some people want it, and some people... <laughs> other people wanted and now nobody wants him yeah man the hype around him died right quick didn't it yes it's so uh fuck Wait, who? fucking gt kid goku the fucking worst thing they could have added to that game because he's uh, he's the kid goku unit i wanted from dragon ball except for he doesn't do the cool shit of the thing he did to kill demon king piccolo instead he turns into a shitty super saiyan 4 goku which i don't even want him in the game to begin with a lot of people were like, oh, but that's the good way of putting in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But this is defeating the fact that I never wanted to see him in the begin with. He doesn't deserve to be in Fighter Z, And that's something I will say forever. Is that Super Saiyan 4 Goku does not deserve to be in any of the games that he's ever been in. He doesn't deserve to be in Dokkan. He doesn't deserve to be in Legends. He doesn't deserve to be in Heroes. He doesn't deserve to be in Fighter Z. He doesn't deserve anything. Dang. Somebody out here is being pretty brutal. It is. And this is great. say that he's actually pretty cool in Heroes. And yeah, and this is this is the part where it's like, they do a lot of cool stuff with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and that's why people accept it. Yeah. Also, Zen, why'd you disconnect? He got uh, I have to do my Jojo hearts, bro. He does have to do his Jojo hearts. Screw so I think hearts. if I get fainted by Gotenks one more time, I'm going to have an aneurysm and fucking die. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah. I don't. I don't like uh, GT Goku and Fighter Z. If people want that guy, that's fine with me. But again, he would have been better as just Kid Goku from Dragon Ball. He should, or he should have been Super Saiyan Four Goku. He shouldn't have been both. I feel like who who is that even for? Like you just pissed everybody off. No, because the people who actually legit want Super Saiyan Four Goku, they want Super Saiyan Four Goku. That's like saying that Super Saiyan Three Goku is in the game because Super Saiyan Goku turns into him at one point. That's not true. <laughs> Nah, yeah, nobody like nobody looks at that and they're like, oh, thank God. I Now I have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. <laughs> like, nah, it, no. it absolutely just sounds nobody like you guys are hating. I'm sorry. Is that what you're saying now? Are you saying that we're hating too hard right now, Dayfrey? Yeah, it, it just sounds like you're hating. All right. Throw in some positives then. Throw up, yeah. Update this. I don't have any positives. All right. It sounds like you're <laughs> hating to me, Dayfrey. <laughs> it just it sounds like you're hating. That's all I got to say. Hmm. Please... Uh, no hating on this Christian channel. So, family right. friend vibes only. This is a Dokkan channel. There's the no hate Dokkan allowed on Dokkan. Channel. Yeah, you're right. Dokkan is the most inclusive game in the world. It's true. No hate it's very diverse. It has a lot of Gokus in it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time we did a, a modcast like three years ago. And we were like, man, there's already like 21 Super Saiyan 1 Gokus. <laughs> it's still always been the case, man. There's always been a million Gokus in this game. Wow, yeah, you're right. That was a long-ass time ago. <laughs> yeah, it was like forever It was ago. a long time ago, and there was already 21 of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Already 21. Damn. All right, well, thank you for the question. Even though I think that just kind of turned into me shitting on Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I should say, again, if you enjoy Super Saiyan 4 Goku, then enjoy him. I don't like him, but... 
It's fine that you like him. It's all good. I don't even want you to enjoy him. Zen doesn't want you to enjoy him. Enjoy him. Zen doesn't want you to enjoy him, but I'm fine with it. You should enjoy Unless him. it is Super Saiyan 4 Zeno Goku, in which case I begrudgingly accept. Mm. You throw out a, a hand for them. The next question comes from a big old nerd, and he says, Will we ever see a Woki vs. Zen in Dragon Ball Heroes? I'll say no, because you'll just, <laughs> that nobody wants to see me just lose to Zen in a different game. <laughs> <laughs> If I ever get uh, more comfortable with the game, maybe. But uh, it's very hard for me to have a stable connection on my Switch, especially when my Switch, one of my Joy-Cons is busted. So it's hard for me to actually play Heroes correctly. Uh, next question comes in from Wet Tail Let's, and they ask, Do you prefer really complex gotchas like Dragalia or simple ones like Dokkan or Pitter Patter Pop? <laughs> I find 3D graphics, equipment systems, and cluttered menus really intimidating. Um, I don't know. It kind of depends on what I feel like. Because there are times when I need to play something, but then Dragalia is too much, so I just open up Pitter Patter Pop and just enjoy a level. Here's the thing for me with shit like Dragalia versus stuff like Pitter Patter Pop, right? Mm -hmm. So Pitter Patter Pop's about as basic as it gets. It's just a fucking, like, what? Yeah. I don't even, what's the name of the fucking game Ma that is like this? Match 3 or Bejeweled? Basically, yeah, it's like Bejeweled, yeah. So that's about as simple as it gets. And then you have Dragalia that's like, yeah, I hope you're ready to grind for 617 hours of your life, and then maybe you'll get a five-star weapon when you die. And then you have to actually learn how these boss patterns are made. Like, I had to yeah, and you go... have to, like, learn all this extra shit. But when it, when it comes down to it is that Pitter Patter Pop has a shit ton of things to do, and there's always new characters that have new abilities. Whereas with Dragalia, a big reason why I quit the game to begin with I was like, wow, I am doing the exact same thing that I've always done. Um, and I don't know if that's a correlation to the fact that, like, work into the grind, that they also don't want to make these events crazy different because they don't want to be more put off any than they already are. I, I don't know the reasoning for it. But every time there's a game that has a lot that's put into, like, is in the equipment system and all that shit, I find that their actual content is super repetitive and annoying. Hmm. I'll say for me, Pitter Patter Pop is just something, uh, you say there's a lot of characters, but I only ever used two, so it doesn't really, <laughs> I like, I've, I've been literally playing the game, and for the past, like, since I started, I've only been using John, uh, Jonathan and, uh, 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 Zapelli, and that's the only two characters I've really used, and it doesn't really, I don't, I don't feel the need to ever use someone different, if that makes sense, because I, the, like, uh, it's like, to me. Because in this game, you can just use the guys that you want to use, or you can use every fucking body. There's like a million people. You can just do whatever the fuck. Yeah, I feel oh, like it all works. You're not going to like. It works. The only difference is that I feel like with. Uh, the Here's the basic thing is that when I when I feel like I actually beat. When I actually beat it, uh, one of the hardest uh, things in Dragalia. And it's not one of the hardest things because it's actually the easiest of one of the hardest things. I felt good about it. Is that when I actually beat an event, one of the harder events in Dragalia, I feel good because it's literally like a payoff for all the builds that I did towards everything. The fact that I can easily now auto a lot of the harder quests that I had previously that was like, I have to go in co-op because otherwise I get fucked. Like, I like the fact that I'm so strong now that I can easily just blow past it and it doesn't feel like something like Dokkan where <laughs> what actually happened was that power creep happened. <laughs> Is that uh, these units are just stupid strong and that's why I'm able to win. So I actually feel some form of enjoyment from it. And then with Pitter Patter Pop, anytime it's actually tried to do something like, oh, now these things are locked. What I actually find is that I don't want any of that. I just actually want the mode where it's like, just try and get as big a high a score. And then I don't like the fact that there's a leveling system because I feel like I don't want this. I actually want Pitter Patter Pop to be more basic than it already is. It's not basic <laughs> enough for me as it is right now. That is That is a tall order. What I'm saying is that if there was a way to strip out all the leveling system and then all it was was numbers and trying to get the numbers higher, I would like Pitter Patter Pop a lot more. <laughs> but uh, There's barely even a leveling system. I know. That's the fucked up thing. Is from that level 1 to level 50. Yeah. And then my characters have been on level 37 for like a week or so. So I've been trying to get the XP tickets, but then... The way I play it is so casual of just like drop in, get some stuff, and then leave. Is that I don't actually get a lot of those EXP tickets because I, 
I just don't end up finding the EXP for them or something. I don't know. It's weird. I'm saying is that I like both of them, but I just come to them at different times for different things. And the enjoyment I get out of Dragalia is different from something I enjoy from Pitter Patter Pop. And the same thing goes for Dokkan. Because Dokkan is a similar thing to Pitter Patter Pop where I just like playing it because it's something that I can pass the time doing something. With Dragalia, sometimes I have to actually think about what I want to do for the next thing. I'm building towards something. Where Dokkan, I stopped building towards something two years ago. <laughs> There's nothing to build towards. For me with Dokkan, um, I find that literally all I give a shit is just getting the new guy asked to like even awaken it. I'll pull a new card that I'm like, wow, that looks really cool. I'm going to play Dokkan now because that looks fucking cool. And then I get the card and I'm like, okay, well, I'm about done. <laughs> that was enough for me. Yeah. I don't know if maybe it's because in the gameplay, I just feel like I'm not as a player contributing to it in any way. I feel like the game probably could be okay without me. And it's more of just a formality that I'm there. Hmm. Like pitter patter pop. I actually have to not play like an idiot to do well in it. Yeah. And that's the funny thing is that sometimes I play like an idiot and I get bad at pitter patter pop and I go like, I have to go back in there. Cause I was being stupid during the early 30 seconds that screwed up my score. <laughs> So let me go back in there and not be stupid. Okay, this passed on. I can move on now. <laughs> uh, D3, what do you feel? The differences between a complex gotcha and more of a, you know, f friendly... A, something like Dokkan, where it's very simple to just play. I think in one of your videos you said before is that you're able to play Dokkan kind of half asleep. Yeah, I don't have to pay much attention. Um I I I play a lot of different gashas. I can say that some, but I, I I don't play any that really require heavy grinding. I do think that what Zen was talking about earlier, a lot of the games that have really complex systems and just a lot of stuff like that, do require a ton of grinding and just no lifing it, uh, which is almost like impossible to do <laughs> if you play a lot of them or like even a few of them really. Mm -hmm. Um. So there's that. So I don't really play many that require heavy lifting like that. Uh, I play really, honestly, none of them really are like that. Like I play, uh, I haven't started playing Dragali again. Mm -hmm. I've downloaded it. I've got everything. I, I logged in. I haven't actually started playing yet. Um, but I play Legends. I play Dokkan. I play uh, Don Machi. I I play One, T One Piece Bounty Rush. And like none of them really require me to really do anything. So I guess for me, what it comes down to, is I like to be able to have the flexibility because a lot of times I just kind of have it on and like I'll be playing or I'll be even working sometimes, you know, because sometimes it's just like getting my stuff set up, you know, like in Dokkan or whatever for a video. So I'll be doing that, but I'll be at the gym and like I don't have to really pay attention, you know. So to me, it's, it just fits my schedule, my everything a little better. So. Hmm. so I think the more that you play, the less you can play those crazy ones like uh and like Epic Seven, I play them both, and they're obnoxious fucking grinds, like Jesus Christ obnoxious. And already I'm kind of soured on the thought of getting in and doing it anymore. Whereas like Pitter Patter Pop, Duel Links, I could always just be playing that and like glance at my phone for Duel Links and be like, oh, it's my turn. I'll play these fucking cards. Yeah. Like Pitter Patter Pop, whenever I'm, or not Pitter Patter Pop, sorry, uh, like Dragalia, whenever I'm playing it, like, fuck, I still have to do this Duel Links event that I want to play more. Again, I think the a lot super of the grindy is... games is like my favorite ones. So it feels like it's monopolizing a lot of my time. I mean that yeah, that's something that's also funny as Golden Week has started, as I start to look at Dokkan, it's like, okay, they want me to do Golden Week missions, but also Dragalia just dropped a new event, and also I'm ignoring the giant elephant in the room, which is that fake go release CCC, one of the largest fucking grindy ass events that's unfun to play at all. So I also have to do that at some point. <laughs> And it's just a lot to ask of people. Well, sometimes it kind of depends on what the gotcha is and what it's demanding of it, I guess. And right now where I feel like the thing that's a benefit to uh, Pitter Patter Pop, which is something that's not existent in Dragalia, if I just want to screw around with Pitter Patter Pop, I can. I don't have to play at the same level as Zen can, and I we both get the same level of enjoyment out of it. But for Dragalia, a lot of that is like, 
I'm building towards this big ass event where I'm gonna have to literally pull apart like ask my friend who's way higher up in Dragalia is like I need you to set up a lobby and then also we're you're gonna teach me how to actually fight this fucking thing because I need actual preparement before I can go in with randos. And if you don't know what you're fucking doing in those higher stages, people will tell you as soon as you fail. That's why we lost the Gur na uh, uh, Naughty is because people kept abusing it for people fucking up during the events. So, oh no, is that that's why we lost it? Yeah, it's because it was too negative. Damn. All three of the, the, the three changes that we lost is because anytime either someone didn't fit the team or we fucked up, people would automatically tell you because it's like... Bro, this shit costs like six stamina and we've been fighting it for like five minutes. And you're going to fuck up right here at the end when we needed it the most. Come on. But there's no like good way of saying that to someone except for the super negative ones. So that's the way it was taken. That's why they took it away from us. I'm going to say that they did nothing wrong is that we're shitty people. So that's why they took it away from us. <laughs> should just give people the the option to turn off emotes instead of taking away the good emote yeah the problem is is that there's also emotes that's like hey watch out and if you're someone like me who sometimes doesn't remember the timing window or you're not paying attention to the clock it helps to let you know like i need to back off because he's about to use a big ass move but uh yeah in terms of actual preference ones i do i don't i guess i really don't have a preference it's just like literally do i feel like playing this right now I'll say I think Dragalia might be my most played game. And then the second one is Legends. So I don't know what that says about me as a person. But there you go. That's my gotcha habits. <laughs> says about me as a human being. Yeah. And then the third one is Fake Go. Fake Go might actually secretly be number one just because it requires so much of your goddamn time. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't. Uh, what, so let's actually answer the the question. Which one do you prefer, Zen? I think you prefer more the pitter patter pop style playing. Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't. I don't want to work for like four hours and then feel like I didn't make any progress. Mm -hmm. What about uh, you, D Free? You play a whole swatch of them. Do you prefer more complex or more simple ones? Ah, uh, just simple ones because I can multitask better. All right, <laughs> that's fair. If I'm at home. And I have to play this gacha for four hours. I could play heroes and like actual video games. Yeah, like that type of stuff. Yeah, I guess it helps that I'm in a situation where I can't play actual video games because my console's busted, and then the others are yeah, in storage. So there you go. Uh, thank you for the question. That ended up taking up more time than I thought it would. <laughs> We're not used to serious questions on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ninety percent of our questions are memes, and then we get a real one, and then we talk about it for yeah. like twenty five minutes. Speaking of memes, this next question comes from Most Creative Name, who asks, "Have you ever played the Tarzan video game? If not, what yes, was I have <laughs> the one on the PlayStation? Yeah. If not, what was the last movie tie-in game you played? Uh, they don't really. Well, it wasn't the. La Does Kingdom Hearts count as a movie tie-in game? <laughs> I just think that's just the Disney tie-in game. <laughs> Uh, I really like Hercules on the... Oh, wait. The best one. Groove on the PlayStation 1. Say it again. PlayStation 1 version of the Emperor's New Groove. Wow. I missed it. It's fucking fire. All <laughs> Love right. Love that game. What about you, Deifrey? Do you remember any of the movie tie-in games of old? Uh, I used to play Toy Story a lot. <laughs> All right. SNES one? Uh, the it was on PlayStation One. I don't remember. I don't remember the PlayStation One one. I just remember the Genesis and the SNES ones that made me want to kill myself. I played yeah, a. I, I played think on PlayStation. to know what suicide was, and I still wanted to do it. Uh, I'll say mine is probably Toy Story Two because I had the N sixty four version, and I would we didn't have the expansion pack for it, so I couldn't save. So if I wanted to beat Toy Story Two, I had to do it in one sitting. So I eventually got so good at the game that I could just beat it in like a couple hours collect everything and then see the ending and i had it on n64 and then eventually i played it on uh, ps3 as a way back or something like i bought the ps1 version it just to learn that the ps1 version had video and it blew my fucking mind because <laughs> the n64 version didn't have any video at all it had like still images from the movie wow yeah fun times back in the old days uh and i'll say this will be our last question for today Let's see. Uh, this one comes in from Shade, and he says, 
Why did you leave the subreddit? I don't actually know. You were Zen, assuming he'll be there because it's Zen. Uh, good assumption, because he is not. He was not in the previous two, so he has about a 50-50 shot of him being here. Um, let's go. Let's start with you, Zen. Why did you leave the subreddit? I was just a clusterfuck. <laughs> it's just Zen an annoying clusterfuck. Comes and leaves. The only the only place that Zen has like been a moderator on for like forever is my Reddit. Wait, really? Yeah, that's right. I am still a moderator on your Reddit, but I don't know <laughs> if any of it is used. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only place that Zen's been a mod there for like three years. <laughs> wow. They come a mod on uh Dino's subreddit as well. Huh? Dino subreddit? I think I'm also a mod on Dino's subreddit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I thought that was hilarious. I went on and I was like, wait, what? This is still a thing? I forgot this was here. I was like, oh, wow. Zen's a mod here. This must be the place with his longest tenure. <laughs> it is. I think it was. I think it was. Because I remember Zen joining and then leaving the Dokkan Reddit over and over, or over and over as far as that one, like being a mod. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was the first time he left and then he came back and then he left again. <laughs> You know, it happens. Yeah, it's, it happens to them. Especially with Fish. Fish likes to bring in mods who have quit before if they're willing to be a mod again. I do, I do remember that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as for me, uh, it happened about... All right, since you... Uh, the, 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 here's the basic thing about it, is that at some point I lost my house... And then I told Fish and everyone there, I'm not going to be able to mod for a bit because I need to go focus on a house. Uh, not knowing that California, finding a house is like finding fucking God. It's impossible to find an actual house in California. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy. And um, so we've been trying for a year. And then at some point, unfortunately, my aunt got uh, cancer, so any chance of me actually caring about the subreddit and, and the in the way that the subreddit needed me just wasn't really possible, so I left because my life became fucking too much to handle with also being like, you know, th these people need help too. And it also just wasn't fair that I was still on there when... They need to bring in new people to keep the subreddit going. The subreddit can't just stop because I need to get my shit together. It should continue moving forward, just like I should continue moving forward. So I don't know if any. Maybe one day, maybe a day will come where I'm stable in my life again and I can go back to the subreddit. But until that day happens, it's better for them to get a new dude in there. And I think I still do flares for them if they ask. So. If you want to feel my presence, just get to 1,000 days in Dokkan and you can have one of my nifty new flares. <laughs> but other than that, that's just kind of why I left. It's It's been a fucking uh, bad year all around. But you got to keep moving forward, you know? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to make, not make this a downer of an ending. <laughs> Yeah, this is very motivational. Yeah, at the end here. I'm trying to be a little bit motivational. Here's the thing is that you have to realize at a certain point that uh, stuff like the mod, even though I want to keep being a mod, I can't be a mod. So you got to put, you got to get your shit together so that one day you can be a mod again. I know for a fact that if I get all my shit together, I just need to go up to Fish and say like, hey, do you need me back? I can actually be a help again. And then I'm back. But until that actually happens, I have to take care of myself. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put in one more question because I realize that's kind of a bummer way of ending it. So I'm going to ask one more question. <laughs> um, this one comes from uh, Soul Rock to Stall Town, which is Carlos. <laughs> but he changes his name so much that it's hard to realize his name. He says, "What do you? how do you rate the summoning song for Dragalia Lost? Um... Uh, it's hard for me to rate the summoning song accurately because I had to deal with summoning when it was at its worst. So, uh, bef I'll say it's somewhere... It, it, there's a lot of good songs in Dragalia. I, I don't think the summoning song is up there for me. It's the walking Super song. Mid. Yeah. Super mid. I would say it's the walking Steel song. Pop is that fucking J-pop, hip-hop, Fire Emblem opera mix they got going on right now? Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. Great. I could listen yeah. to that on loop. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say all the Fire Emblem music that they're doing 
yeah, it's been great. They, they do some fantastic fucking music. So it's kind of a bummer that the <laughs> the summoning song isn't as good as the rest. <laughs> Not as good at all. No. But the rest of it's pretty good. Yeah. Also, uh, Zen, how does it make you feel to know that you made it into another game? What? How does it make you feel to know Marth's in another game? Marth is in another game, and he's good. Oh, he's yeah. fantastic. Are you kidding me? I'm... It's a shame it took him. Uh, it's a shame he still didn't win any of those fucking votes in Fire Emblem Heroes, did he? So I'm not. I'm not sure how much of this is true. You're someone, such a hater. someone, tell me: Is it true that Fire Emblem Heroes does not have a base form Veronica? Bad guy. No, because she's the bad guy. So, so they they have her as like a seasonal unit. So that she's can... actually what's called a brave unit, which is not quite a seasonal. Uh-huh. Uh it, it means that they're uh, a special version of the character because she won a vote, that she was a character that the players most wanted. So Dragalia got her in her base form <laughs> before uh, Fire Emblem Heroes did. I don't think Fire Emblem Heroes will ever get her as like because she's regularly. like the villain. She's one of the main villains. That's kind of yeah. sad. <laughs> That's also sort of... The story's kind of fucking ridiculous. I, I guess she's kind of going good-ish. But the one that in Fire Emblem Heroes that you get, she's a one from like an alternate universe where she's not as evil. Okay, that's fair enough, I guess. So she's a hero! Yay! Yeah. So yeah, I remember some friends of mine you telling me totally that... You can totally get the villains of other fucking Fire Emblem games. Yeah. Yes, you can. That's why I'm like, uh, how is she not in there? Because you have like... is Don't you have the dude who killed one of the main villains in Awakening? Isn't he a um, dude you can summon? I mean, summon? they have, like, the main villain of basically every fucking game I know. Yeah, isn't the giant asshole swordsman from uh, Walhart or something? Isn't he in that oh, game? Oh, Walhart? Well, you, Walhart is playable in Awakening. He he joins you. Yeah, well, yeah, you have to find him after you take him down, though. Yeah. Same thing goes for the other villain, but... Yeah, Grima! But they have, like, Lion from the Sacred Stones, where he literally is, like, a fucking horrific monster. Yes, the the Grima or whatever, he's in there, and he's a villain. Yeah, both the boy and the girl version of Robin, possessed by Grima, is in there. And that guy's 100% evil, so I don't understand why they're not releasing this girl if people seem to like her in her base form. Yeah, she's popular. Hmm. Well. She won a vote before Marth did. At least Marth is good and Dragalia lost. And if you do have Marth, he's a perfect person to take into uh, uh, HMC. Which was at one point one of the hardest game, one of the hardest events in Dragalia, but now is actually one of the easier starter starter ones. Jokes on Zen. He thinks I didn't hear that shot. Marth only lost because his his options were split up between two. Sounds like uh, a whole big old pile of uh, excuses there. Come on, Zen. You know it's true. You know it's true. Are you trying to say the fix was in on Marth? It was in. Didn't he win the next one? or did No, no, he still got a legendary hero. He and got you know a legendary. What issue... He didn't get a brave. There's no brave Marth, but there's a yeah. legendary Marth. You know what the issue with Marth uh, was as well? They knew that he was supposed to win so bad that they still included him on that, uh, like, on the winner poster with the characters that did win. You know, he was the only one there that shouldn't have been there. Remember? They knew that he should have won. That. So who won that uh, round? Hector and Ephraim. Yeah, yeah, but the girls too. Veronica and uh, Veronica Cecilia? and or Celica. Luc- I mean, no, it wasn't Lucina. Who the fuck was the other one? No, Celica. Okay. Was it Celica? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Cel- was it? Who I the think fuck? so. I'm pretty sure it was Celica. A brave Celica, even. I'm pretty sure it was Celica. Yeah, there is. You're right. It was Celica and Veronica. It's the one. She was the one that had Death Blow Four. Yeah, right. yeah. So they had the little thing. Oh, these are your winners. All of. <laughs> that's crazy yeah that whole I voting remember process tweeting that is... out. i was like what the fuck bro <laughs> he's on the image but he's not actually here oh yeah, let's see what... yeah, so yeah there's only funny. been one form of marth and fire emblem heroes this entire time there's there's the original marth there's that was two in the Marths. game at launch and then there's a legendary version of marth okay, and fair. there's the, and one there's of the bridal one the groom yeah yeah groom okay. yeah the groom one that's that's that makes more sense then because I was about to say, if there was only been one Marth in the entire span of Fire But Emblem Marth Heroes, is like, he's the golden child. That's why he made it into another game. No, it's true. He's in every game. 
So I had to rub that in because, like, it's not effort. He made so. it into Smash Bros. That's why he's in every game. Yeah, it's because he's from Smash Bros. It's because if he wasn't in Smash Brothers, nobody in the West would know what the fuck Fire Emblem is. This is partly true. If Fire Emblem wasn't in Smash, probably yes. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. All right, I think it's time to uh, start wrapping this up here. I'll say I want to thank D Free and Zen for joining me here. No problem, my boy. Oh, I found it. I Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let me put it in the chat. Look at this BS. Look at this. This isn't even the same image, but it explains exactly what I was saying. Look at this. Hold on. I just want to hear you guys' reactions live. Click that link. Okay. Ah, that is pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Why is he there? <laughs> All right, hold up. It's taking forever. They had another one of those. They had another one of those. It was a different image, but it was the same concept. It was all four of them plus Marth. <laughs> it's like he well, got the other character is Wokey that aren't Marth in that image are the actual vote winners. <laughs> and this is the winner result page. Yeah, and then <laughs> and Marth is it. in the image even though he did not win and he did not <laughs> get the unit. <laughs> He didn't get a unit. Yeah. They knew full well Marth should have won. That's the biggest indicator that they knew. They were like, oh, we actually screwed him because his votes got split between two characters. I remember at the time telling people, hey, make sure we all vote on the same Marth. <laughs> so okay, why were the I just want to there... point out that that's not a good, very good excuse because Ike's votes also got split between two characters. Yeah. And he fucking shit on everybody in that first yeah, voting gauntlet anyway. Yeah, he did. I, I did. I did pretty good despite that. But still, it happened to Marth and he would have probably got first <laughs> you're saying this is the case of like well, he I, wasn't... I think he got i think we calculated it when we were throwing shit at each other and he would have gotten second but oh by too much God. which hector was second right no hector was first Ephraim was second ah uh, yeah oh yeah that's right he would have been in over oh wow this was really a fight between <laughs> i see now why there's beef with this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of shade being thrown at this time. No, uh, yeah, I could see that 100%. I was pretty salty. Wow, I was they're, super, they're, they're I was really close, too. Him. I just yeah. realized that what they did to Marf is what happened to Al Gore. They Al Gore your Marf. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really. Are you seeing the number of points? Yeah, that's really close. He got third place with 29, and then you scroll down a little more. There's. And it's like, yeah, he got screwed. So, I mean, it is what it is. But he still made it onto the winter poster for some reason. Wow. <laughs> That's great. I actually don't see that second one. He's not in the top 10, so wherever he is. The funny thing is, is that... Oh, the uh, second one was 24th with another 8,000 votes. Yeah, he would have... Hector's, he would have also, Hector's also in 101st place. Because they're the Binding Blade version of them got two thousand votes. O old man Hector. Yeah. Yeah. The, don't That's touch funny. my daughter, Hector. <laughs> oh boy, good times, good times. Yeah, good. Times. Maybe I go back to Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, you just play some Dragalia, and you'll get some Fire Emblem in there. I know, huh? It's the same thing. <laughs> I'll just get my Fire Emblem characters. Get your Fire Emblem. That sucks that Roy. <laughs> I would, um, yeah, it's it's funny that he's not in there. Uh, so let me end this by saying uh, this is the last thing, and I'll say this is serious, so don't try and fucking cut me off. <laughs> uh, so me and my family have been trying to raise money for my aunt's funeral. As I mentioned before, she had cancer. Well, we lost her about a week or so ago. And so we've been trying. A lot of people have been very helpful uh, retweeting the specific like link to help. And if you can't donate, then you can always retweet. And we appreciate any help we can get during this specific period of our of our lives. And uh, she deserves a lot of the money. So we're trying to do the best we can for her so that we can all move on and be happy. So if you, for whatever reason, you did not retweet it when you saw it on my Twitter or you're just here on YouTube, the link, you can see the link down below. You can see the, the post and you can retweet or you can donate if you want. Whichever one, either way, share it or donate, whatever, whichever one, whatever you can do to help us during this time would be very much appreciated from me. And I appreciate anyone that can uh, help us out. I appreciate, of course, Zen and DeFree who have been there to help me during this time and are here to be here to make everyone laugh and have a good ass time. I think that's uh, something that everyone needs from time to time. So goodbye, everyone. I, even though I said I wouldn't end it with a bummer, I still found a way. <laughs> <laughs>
You just made me sad, Wookie. <laughs> I try and not to make people sad. That's why it's been hard to bring any of this up. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everyone. Have a good ass day out there. Hi. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna say the the ending for to be released <laughs> because it's so negative. So, <laughs> just have a good ass day out there. Goodbye.